Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Divine Sovereign Leaders of the New Age Evolution. In the acceleration of Christ Consciousness, all is coming to alignment with the Divine Light of the Still Center which is everywhere. In truth there is no separation, in love there is no fear. Anything that is out of harmony with source and nature is a temporary, illusory experience. Consciousness needed to understand what it is by experiencing and witnessing what it is not. The simulation that is not real is always changing, and the truth that is source and real never changes. In the power of silence and the awareness of stillness, all things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. This is what we call pure awareness. It is what is listening now. It is what is seeing now. Nothing to attain. Only witness the pure and clear state of eternal bliss consciousness. The Holy Grail activation is opening the etheric connection from every living being's lower dantian to the womb of Mother Gaia. The Great Mother is surrounding all her children with golden divine light for healing and transformation. We connect with the blue pearl within our third eye to guide us to the clear light of bliss held within the sky eye in the middle of the upper Dantien, the spirit gate. Today we venture further down the rainbow column on the Mayan Zolkin calendar. We journey closer each day to the galactic center of Hunabku, the galactic butterfly. We are slowly making our way through the twilight zone, in between worlds, and into the zero point, and through the eye of the needle. In this great exodus of human consciousness, out of the Babylonian debt slavery system and false 3D matrix, and into the promised land of 5D divine matrix of freedom, and abundance for all. We have reached critical mass of the Great Awakening, and now we have traveled beyond the event horizon into the void as we near our final destination on this timeline, as we merge and integrate all aspects of our infinite multidimensional selves with this one body of Christos and this one true organic ascension timeline of eternal love and blessed consciousness. Live the joy that your heart resonates with in this now. Everything left of the false, nefarious energies is trying to derail you, but we came on this mission to see this game through until the very end, which is the beginning of our true birthright, to live in eternal bliss, peace, abundance, and happiness. It is in the internal merging of Heros Gamos, the yin with the yang, we experience the external divine union and emerge from the cave as solar Christos, dragon angelics of the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful and beautiful transmissions for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end. If you could please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below on what you're feeling and experiencing in these powerful times. And please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. We had some very powerful, intense energies coming in again today. We had a 16 hertz amplitude manifestation, a beam of white light on the Schumann charts. We had many powerful earth changes and activations all over this realm. We have massive flooding in Malaysia. Thousands of our people have been evacuated from their homes and displaced because of this massive heavy downpour flooding, which began on January 1st, 2022. Gaia continues her cleansing and purging, preparing for this final leap of consciousness, this quantum leap. Our prayers, love, and blessing go out to all of our people suffering due to these great earth changes. We had many activations all over Pachamama with 117 and 1.5 or greater earthquakes. The most powerful today on the Ring of Fire, Taiwan, 
with a 6.2 activation, and this was at 946 UTC, 23.997 latitude, 122.235 longitude. We have the 222 code with the 222 portal. We had another very powerful activation just a little over an hour ago in the North Mid-Atlantic Ridge on the other side of the Earth. The powerful 6.2 Lemurian energy coming in and then the next most powerful 6.1 in the Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge with a 6.1 35.265 latitude, 35.241 longitude, 35.35. At 318, we have an 88 portal, Lionsgate, Lyra Nation. This is the new Atlantean energy, divine masculine. The divine feminine, rise with divine masculine together in Heros Gamos. The eagle and the condor fly together freely. We have many 777 codes coming in earlier today in the crown of Lemuria. Andreanoff Islands of the Aleutian Islands with a 3.5, another 8 activation. And then in South America on the Tropic of Capricorn in the Andes Mountains, San Antonio, De Los Cobres, Salta, Argentina, home of our sacred condors, Kundalini Pachamama, 4.4, four, Divine 44, another 8.8 eight portal. Lyra Nation coming in strong now. Mentone, Texas, 3.6. Council of Nine, seven kilometer depth, Mentone, Texas, United States 3.5, another eight activation, and then a third Mentone, Texas. This is the Trinity, the triple gate with a 3.1. Then the most powerful in Taiwan with a 6.2, Northern Mid Atlantic Ridge with a 4.7, on Alaska, Alaska, and the Crown, another 4.4 four activation, 8.8. Eight. Mentone, Texas, a fourth activation, seven kilometer depth with a 3.2 magnitude. Fiji on the ring of fire, four five, another council of nine activation, 511 kilometer depth. Mentone, Texas, another 3.5, eight activation. Argentina, Abra Pampa, 4.2. Mentone, Texas, another three zero, one after another today, very powerful activations. Powerful activation in southern Mexico by Mexico City, Michoacan, Mexico, 4.4, 77 kilometer depth, 7th dimensional energy coming in, rising to the 8th, Bonin Islands, Japan, 5.8, Argentina, Abra Pampa, again, 4.1, then another powerful activation, Taiwan, 5.0, in the heart of Lemuria, Pahala, Hawaii, powerful 4.3, 33 kilometer depth, 333 portal. Vega, Alta, Puerto Rico, 3.7, 37 into the 73, heaven on earth. Tonga, 5.0, 265 kilometer depth. Then the second most powerful, 6.1, northern mid Atlantic Ridge, 318 UTC. And then Loving, New Mexico, the latest powerful, 3.6, another. Council of Nine activation. These are all encoded with synchronicities and omens from the Great Spirit. And all part of this great quickening we are all experiencing, 808 coming in, as the frequency is being raised, amping up, intensifying and accelerating this great manifestation of the transformation of this beautiful realm of Gaia into the new Edenic timeline. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 3 degrees, 36 minutes Aquarius. The sun is at 13 degrees, 48 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 14 degrees Capricorn. An ancient base relief carved in granite remains a witness to a long forgotten culture. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 4 degrees Aquarius. A Hindu healer. From astrologyweekly.com. Krishna and Ganesha are with us now. Feel into the energy of our divine brother of the light Sri Yukteswar and Paramahansa Yogananda, connecting with Babaji the Avatar. Om Shiva Graksha Babaji Yog. Om Shiva Graksha Babaji Yog. Om Shiva Graksha Babaji Yog. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Beyond Lemoria from Izzy Ivy, 
the card she pulled for you today very synchronic and powerful card three sacral chakra core of creation feelings emotional responses pleasure sensuality intimacy connection letting go creativity sacred sexuality passion healthy boundaries valuing the body you are invited to revel in the present moment and feel deeply into your senses the sensuality of being alive the breeze on your skin the scent of damp earth and the feeling of fitting perfectly into the temple you call your body this card is about diving into the depths of a moment where all your faculties are available for divine creation your entire paint kit is present as no part is left in the past or caught in the future all of who you are unites in a point of deep experiences this is the ecstatic moment of conception for a project or new life let yourself drop into passion intimacy and loving connection with whatever you are birthing into the world and with whomever you have chosen to co-create with restore get in touch with your creativity and embrace your natural expression however it looks to you the way you live is an art form a unique expression of yourself you can dance through challenge, sing through restriction, and paint your reality. Themes, your relationship with your body, your sensuality, and your sexuality. Healing position, lower abdomen, pelvis area. Color wash, vibrant orange. And a quick update from Divine Sister of the Light Amanda Lawrence. Strong incoming energy started approximately 9.30 p.m. UK time. The vibrational patterns are very strong, mainly to the crown, head, and face, plus sustained high-pitched ringtones. And from Divine Angel of the Light, Soul Light, Breathe, find the time to go within, return and rest in the space of your heart. Breathe, the unsettling, void, empty feelings you are experiencing now is due to the releasing of the old energies occurring. There is a great physical and emotional transformation unfolding within you. You are freeing up space within, making room for the higher light of your soul to anchor more into the body. You are being uplifted into higher timelines. Those uneasy feelings are temporary. Breathe. Amazing change is to take place within this month of January. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Moracetti, January 3rd, 2022, Reset Window. Take care of your light. Take care of your light body. A lot is happening inside and outside right now. Our physical body in total transformation, reconfiguration. Our higher self pushing us to step up, be ready, remain open, and most of all take care of your human aspects. Resisting the change as I think it's going to be as never before. Earth gridding system is electrified as our physical bodies are, are the grid. A strong reset window is now open, and we are in the middle of it. I will update more as soon as I can see even more clearly inside of me and outside of me. Don't hesitate to shine even brighter. And from Isis Channelings, New moon of seeding, new structural foundations, seed of life, light. 2022 is the year when we begin the building process of the consciousness of 22 in earnest. So far, we have been engaging primarily with the destruction aspect, tearing down of the old which is essential before the new is sown. And so 2022 begins with the Capricorn New Moon, where we are called upon to sow the seeds of the new foundational structures we wish to build the new upon. As mentioned in the earlier post, the new seed of light, age, was shown to me as the six-petaled seed of life, the core structure of the flower of life. The energy of 6, 2022, new creations and manifestations. Individually and collectively, we are required to reflect upon what core shifts are sought in the foundation of our life, relationships, values, services, goals, and as a planet. This new moon coincides with Venus, Inanna, disappearing from sight as she winds up her Gemini metagoddess journey before appearing as the morning star as the Capricorn metagoddess sheds one identity and acquires another thus a period of rapid transformation and metamorphosis what this means for us at an individual level is 
have we imbibed the lessons of Venus as Gemini meta goddess before we embark on a whole new journey with her as morning star? Pay attention to your triggers. We can choose to negotiate these the old way, or we can take the core lesson of Gemini meta goddess, which was to weave, midwife, script our life path, destiny, service, not via our ego reactions and projections, but as empowered sovereign beings capable of seeing the higher perspective offered by the triggers and then taking courageous action which passes via the gateways of the heart, grace, forgiveness, kindness, and compassion. The heart and the high heart are at the core of the new foundational structures that are now to be erected in this year of six of new creations and manifestations. We cannot manifest that which we are not. We manifest that which we are as opposed to that which we desire. That is, if we wish to create, build, manifest a new age of grace, then we first must be the embodiment of grace itself. And it is in laying these new foundations that we are to be assisted by Venus as Capricorn Meta Goddess, beginning the 9th of January, the wise woman energy. The wise woman energy who commands the four winds of change, the four directions, the four elements, earth, water, wind, fire, to build anew the very foundation of the consciousness of twenty-two, four-petaled rose, the Larian, Pleiadian, Andromedan, Sirius starseeds, the white serpent, the Kundalini priestesses who midwife the seed of light, life, and the earth shamans, night templars, and the four-pointed red cross symbol who anchor, activate, and protect this new blueprint. Capricorn energy is all about getting to work, time to build a new age and light, and grace, and joy, be the change you want to see, sake na, from isischannelings.wordpress.com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aluna, Joy, Yashkin, the second pulse begins today, and will be from January 3rd, 2022, through January 6, 2022, these are the days of 8, Chikchan, 9, Kimi, 10, Manik, and 11, Lamat. This second phase will activate our throat chakra from the descending cosmic energy and activate your solar plexus from the elevating energy from the core of the earth. These four days begin collecting foundational wisdom. We will begin to let go like a death of the past and align with pure healing creation, activating and transducing wisdom into a usable form. We exit the mental world and we enter the world of spirit. My personal observations this morning, I live directly on the throat chakra of Sedona, yet I am so deeply lost in the energy I have nothing to post this morning except it feels like we are entering the underworld. I only hope that we all will be birthed out the other side into the new world that we are in alignment and share frequency with. It is so deep that I cannot post what I am experiencing in my heart and my very soul today. It is the total death of the old ways. Nothing will be the same after this. We do not know what is on the other side of this. This is the way of death and rebirth. The heaviness of the old falling away is devastating as the heart lets go of the many things we work so hard to build. This is the devastation of our old world. This is the Mayan underworld, Shibalba. It is the underworld which is when we enter deep profound darkness of the cave within and process and let go of our old world. The Milky Way is viewed as the road to Shibalba. This time could have been seen as the Duat, the ancient Egyptian underworld and the nocturnal world of the sun god Ra. This is the journey of our inner sun or light through the darkness. From AlunaJoy.com The Six Kings Have Returned the Vikings, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Long. We are experiencing many timelines, jumping back and forth, back and forth. This has happened many times since 2012, but much more vibrant right now. Just like Betty White dying, I would have sworn we went through this timeline already, just like when Nelson Mandela, who I thought died in the 80s while in prison. My son even questioned that when his death as president occurred in 2013. Same with Billy Graham, even noticed the words in the Bible changed many years ago. There was a lot of God hates this referenced in it. I never ever seen that word in the Bible. 
I think it was a way to show us the truth of it and how it separates us from spirit, rather than uniting us with this inner knowing we are born with. All I have to say right now is this life is a trip right now. Friday I kept hearing drums playing, same beat. Then when I would go outside it would stop. But the third time I went outside it didn't stop, they kept going. My ears were ringing so loud Friday evening, the loudest ever. I had to take time in silence and just allow myself to listen to it all, to tune into what was occurring. It seemed right after that we shifted into a new timeline and yesterday... I felt it more vibrantly as the temp started going down and it became very cold. It is like mother is confirming what I have been feeling. There are not enough words to express what we are going through right now, but it is deeply felt within us. We are being prompted to feel our way through it all right now without thoughts of interference, like searching for something outside of us to confirm it, when truly there is none at this moment. Our manifestations are heightening as more of our light body continues to activate. Even the densities of this planet that some of us choose to avoid plays a major part of this transition right now. Until we come to the awareness that we are just as much a part of the darkness as we are of the light, we will ever stay in a state of separation until we find our wholeness within it all. No matter the roles being played out right now, we must embrace it all with forgiveness and accept it for what it is, so we can let it all fall away and be reborn as one. It takes a while for the brain to accept this, because of everything we have chosen to bend it or manipulate the mind some way. Once we embrace our intuitive hearts and allow it to guide us, we begin to feel just how connected we are to all of it. There is so much more I wish to express to all, but I find myself in this trance-like state some moments. Just as I look out at the blue sky and stay focused on it, I am not only here but I am everywhere, showing myself the mind self how connected I am to all that is, where my spirit already knows this, it is like an aha moment. Just be centered in your heart's loves, allow all that surrounds you to become you and be reborn in the essence of pure love, the Christ itself as we continue elevating into the oneness that we are. There are so many blessings coming our way, but we must be open to receive and be able to allow what is outside of us to go to fall away in the winds of change. And from Divine Brothor of the Light by Lal Kaiser Kayani, your time has come to shine your brightest light. The body has been used as an experimental tool for collecting data about human nature and share it with the whole Altea collective memory bank. Also as tools for researching in depth about how the human body functions in the cellular levels and how the quantum mechanics can be applied in optimizing the human body to its full potential. The shock from the downfall of Atlantis overloaded our energetic highway network connected to this galaxy. We have redirected the energy and shut down some of the energy lines. This has been repaired and all the energetic highways to this galaxy have been reconnected with the rest of the Altea Energy Complex Network. This has been done by many Altians in this galaxy with assistance by the Central Star Council. The research about the human body and the knowledge about how it works on cellular and quantum levels has to be passed on to you now. Many of you are advanced energy workers and great healers with an interest in the human body and the basic functions that the mainstream media and pharmaceutical industry has distorted, so much needs to be corrected and passed on to the rest of advanced healers and energy workers. You will become really advanced and all the codes has to be passed to you now, so you can take over the groundwork and begin to coordinate on a larger scale. The energy operating in this body will leave the main event pulse and get anchored into the planetary body. Some groundwork has to be laid first according to the guidelines of the collective free will. Connection points for the main event pulse will get their bodies overloaded by the energy and the physical body will shut down. This is the contact we have. We will offer our body for the completion of the shift and return back to our original state before the long creation cycle began, according to the planning by a large group from Altea who descended down to the seventh density and used the Altea's genetic makeup bank for the first bipedal creature with human facial form. 
The time has come to pass all the knowledge and wisdom from Altea's collective memory banks to you now, also connected with other nine original founding races data bank, Brother Bailal Altea Energy Complex, and from Divine Sister of the Light Ramona Lappin, Cosmic Consciousness Quantum Reset in Progress. These energies are beyond intense. I have become accustomed to surfing these quantum waves well, but I have to say, today is definitely a bit of a struggle. We are receiving some beyond huge clearings, DNA, plasma, light body, and higher heart, mind, galactivations, and cosmic rays, and powerful aurora and interdimensional plasma waves as this reset takes place and we complete this massive quantum leap to the one true organic ascension realities. The most important activation unfolded on Sunday with the Divine Mother fully reclaiming the Vatican Stargate site as well as Washington and London. I saw a mass release of children's souls at St. Peter's Basilica taking place, but this is happening across the planet. I was also shown that some of these children that were abused were cloned and have no souls. Those souls that are moving on are receiving healing before choosing their next incarnations. I am in deepest gratitude to them for their sacrifice and so relieved to see their souls being released into the light to now be at peace. The Divine Mother, White, Blue, and Aqua rays are literally merging and absorbing these lower energies, demonic entities, and shadow beings leaving through her, like a pillar of light drawing all impurities to her like moths to a flame, to then transmute them through her and returning them back to source. This is taking a toll on those that carry these rays predominantly in their blueprints as we are purifying these lower energies and arcana consciousness through our own vessels too. I saw a massive cosmic whiteout happening on Sunday within the consciousness, which was all part of this as the white and threefold flame continue to purify and ascend the inner and outer grids and realities. It was cosmic wide. The cosmic consciousness quantum reset is underway. This is not just about Earth or this galaxy, but also the whole one consciousness of which all dimensional, universal, and multidimensional layers are all a part of. We are merging all of our multidimensional and incarnational selves into one. All dimensions, timelines, and realities are merging into one consciousness, multiversal experience. These past few days, we have been receiving very powerful shifts and activations to the planetary brain and grid system, which corresponds to the collective consciousness and nervous system. You may feel super extra tired, have headaches, migraines, body aches, hard to focus, eyes, eye sore, nausea, dizziness, flu, frequency light upgrades, symptoms, etc. As these massive upgrades and clearings are taking place and a powerful consciousness reset is happening at all levels of creation. It's actually really challenging to write this. It takes a lot of concentrated focus. We are receiving powerful upgrades. Our brains are being rewired and our DNA and blueprints re-encrypted as this too resets. All is interconnected. The brain may feel like it's offline, difficulty focusing as this reset takes place and the old false data is deleted and re-encrypted. This is neuroplasticity happening at collective level as the planetary brain is getting rewired and reset. We are fully reconnecting back to God Source Intelligence, Eternal God Source Backflow, Return, Perpetual Energy Flow, and Organic Telepathic Synergistic Group Consciousness at Collective Level, away from and replacing the Artificial Hive Mind, Group Think, and Artificial Telepathic Net. Our brains are also temporarily being reset and rewired. This is how the new consciousness is being birthed at Collective Levels right now. Whenever we do grid work, we also work on the planetary brain. We are having geomagnetic disturbances, all signs of timeline shifts unfolding. This was all after I saw the consciousness reset happening at energetic levels as I was doing some gate work. It played out as a massive whiteout at cosmic quantum levels. I am also observing massive DMT and bliss code release in progress. This may show up as waves of love and bliss being experienced in between deeper releases. 
rapid quantum collapse of artificial false timelines, veils, illusions, and holographic inserts, overlays, and false data and memories continues. Electric energies. I saw lightning in the sky, but it was different to lightning as in bolts. But there was thunder also. It was super quiet, no storm, no rain, nothing. It was more than white light flashes in the distance. Today, Monday, I am being shown a crystalline heart rose core of earth opening up, activating, and going through a crystallization process, triggering a planetary-wide massive rose grid activation, helping remove any remaining negative alien technologies, pumping crystal waters out into the grids and ley line system. There is an overall big focus on the spiritualization of the waters within and planetary wide. Massive clearing of remaining mind control tech and grids, especially in Canada. Keep going deeper and deeper within. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakens. All you need to know and need to navigate these wild waters lies within you truly. Stop trying to figure it all out with your mind and keep dropping into your heart and connect with your soul, with source. Go beyond what you believe to be true and simply ask to be shown the truth. All of our prayers have been collected and delivered to Source now, and they are being answered. Trust. Surrender to Divine Will, and be the Divine Love that heals all. And remember, this is a false holographic overlay, a controlled collective mass hallucination, psychosis, that we are now fully breaking out of by reclaiming the truth, all from the inside out. Now we reclaim and remember our inherent God power and responsibility, as the superconscious co-creators of all new realities that we are. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Nicola de Alonso. Do you realize that we are not fully embodying the masculine consciousness arc? I woke up from sleep with this question in my mind. My answer was, hmm, I had not considered masculinity on an arc. That's a new concept to me. One definition of arc is a luminous electrical discharge between two electrodes or other points. I like this definition for what we're talking about here. One of the best ways to consider that which fills the arc is through the lens of the archetypes. We can easily see the wide range of energies from the sensitive spiritual lover to the determined dedicated warrior. When we consider king, we see a final graduation of sorts a space and consciousness earned through relationship to God and traversing the intense initiations of the lover, warrior, magician, and father. But there's more to masculine consciousness than even this, and we see this in the rare men who embody initiation beyond king. We call them grail kings, or godfather kings, for example. As more and more men traverse the territory into kingship and beyond, we will begin to fill out this map, this holy arc of masculinity. I believe it's purposefully protected and withheld until final initiation rites have been attained. Because the degree of masculinity that I'm talking about here is powerful beyond what we've known, it's electrifying and magnetic, and it includes miracle-making and conquering that which has been deemed impossible. Men, I encourage you to keep going on your path. Keep moving through your initiations. Keep dying unto yourself and to your God, because there is something beyond glorious waiting for you there. We are waiting to see you shine in the full masculine consciousness arc like a bolt of lightning, because we want to be thunderstruck by you, to be halted by your influence, to be in awe of your magnitude and power. This is your birthright. Stand up and claim it. From Nicola de Alonso and from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Light Fractals, the Arcturians. Like snowflakes showering your world, see fractals of light reaching you. Your unique light evolution receives fractals of light as attunement tools. Simply open your light field to receive and feel the higher light. For downloads occur in many energetic forms as you connect to the night sky. Be with Mother Gaia, our galactic family of light. The intuitive connection and calling to follow the light path. The energetic calling to sit and be. The internal knowing to a certain area to receive light encoded information as you breathe in light. As your light body harmonizes encoded light. 
for higher light attunement is fundamental to your personal ascension integrated with your soul family the union of light the alliance of unity consciousness mother gaia's light advancement mission our collective universal light mission as we attune and advance in a multi-dimensional dance of light sending waves of cosmic love the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code a new level of independence is expanding possibly you have been stuck in stalemate with 3d relationships triggers and mind games would pull you into lower vibrations where the ego wants answers on them this would result in spying on social media and wanting to control others behaviors and choices based on the ego's conclusions that addictive pattern prevented any growth in love and divine union now you've overcome those obstacles healed and ready for an evolved relationship these past experiences led to self-reflection and figuring out what is right and wrong for you your choice to only accept a partner that can meet your needs and be an equivalent match has evolved you into a very powerful leader of your own life you know who you are and what you want and therefore can no longer be used and manipulated knowledge and healing from that karmic loop are integrating today god is asking you to go deeper with him today and take time to know me he is saying the solar flares and light codes are filtering out all the falsehoods for your time of rebirth through the most high he is with you helping you reset as his child utilizing today to get into alignment with him will bring the best long-term results purification of the heart is releasing any remaining attachments to heartbreak wounds and people that didn't reciprocate love this is a migration process out of the matrix change is here under god's authority to remove you from any remaining loss and mourning and guide you forward to everlasting love and happiness in jesus christos name amen god bless you carolyn kundalini twin flames and from divine sister of the light adrian elise gaia daily january third through the seventh time in between time jupiter sits at zero degrees pisces as we teeter on the edge of a new reality it feels like time is standing still with jupiter in square with the nodes of the moon representing past karma and the future direction tomorrow jupiter will move to one degrees pisces and the nodes will move to zero degrees gemini and sagittarius this mutable t-square is bringing a feeling of being stuck in between time unclear how to move forward or back and not sure what's up from down this confusing transit will last through the middle of january we can use this time to adjust to the major shift of energy that lies ahead mercury now in aquarius will turn retrograde on january fourteenth with both venus and mercury retrograde the second half of january will continue to feel like time in between time venus turns direct on january twenty ninth just before the new moon in aquarius on february first this marks the beginning of the chinese new year the year of the water tiger when we begin to feel the new energies of twenty twenty two there is a big shift of energy with the nodes of the moon moving over into taurus and scorpio on january nineteenth the same day that the influence of the intense saturn square uranus twenty twenty one astrology recedes with the south node in scorpio this nodal shift will bring us into a season of disclosure of dark truths the north node in taurus puts pressure on healing our self-worth and poverty consciousness so that we can move forward with our wealth revolution and into the golden age we can use this time in between time to completely reset and be ready to head in a whole new direction from adrianalise.com and from divine sister of the light leah white horse jupiter and pisces square the north node in gemini and south node in sagittarius mercury and aquarius trine the north node listen there's a signal beeping from deep within the inner cosmos a gargantuan mothership circling a giant planet bathed in the light of a red sun a storm spins upon the planet's surface dissipates gathers dissipates gathers somewhere ethereal beings are singing jupiter's deep dive into pisces brings us closer to the soul to source to everything that is and ever will be 
There are big questions, unnameable feelings, something so profound that we weep without knowing why, and that's okay. This is a time to get in touch with inner space, to know what you yearn for, what you miss, the dreams that you secret away because you believe they aren't possible. Right now there are choices to be made, but to gain a clear view of available opportunities, we must release old paradigms and check in with our moral compass. Ask yourself what you believe. Make time for stillness, peace, prayer. Tune into the flow of life to find your fortune. Open your mind to out-of-this-world ideas. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time Cosmic History Quote for Moon 6, Day 21 Hunab Ku is the soul of galactic culture. Hunab Ku, one giver of movement and measure, is the reality of unification, the cosmic unity of all spiritual life everywhere. Rhythmic Lizard Moon, the lizard, Kuwait's Pali, is also known in ancient wisdom as the symbolic totem for dreaming. Lizard, teach me your medicine. Let me sleep in your skin and see the dream time through your heart. When Lizard comes to you, he is telling you that it's time to start paying attention to your dreams. When you accept Lizard as your power animal, you'll see that your dreams are more vivid, more lucid, and much more meaningful. Lizard teaches us to think about the deeper meaning of our dreams. What are our dreams trying to tell us? Lizard's perspective and he can see the shadows of our souls, our doubts, fears, uncertainty, frustrations, worries. He wants us to see these things and learn to overcome them. Lizard encourages us to face our fears. Lizard has the unusual ability to regenerate something which has been lost. When a lizard loses his tail, he can grow it back. This is a lesson to us. There is nothing that is so easily lost. We can regain things through repair and regeneration. Cherokee Hawk Key 4.7 the evolution of space through time is realized through number. All number can be reduced to its base matrix unit, BMU. The BMU is a psychic integer of the higher mind that is plugged into the holomine perceiver, where several levels of information can be read. 260 keys to synchronotron. Postulate 4.7 Life itself is the function of a program code originating in the radial matrix of fourth dimensional time. On planet Earth, this code is known as the 64 unit DNA code. It is the interaction of the DNA code with the law of time. Time times energy equal art, by whose synchronizing 1320 frequency, the evolving orders of life are fashioned. 260 postulates on the dynamics of time from 13moonpeacetime.com. Today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 125, Red Galactic Serpent. Galactic is the name for the number 8, and its keywords are harmony, integrity, and model. The 8th day of the white mirror wave spell, like any galactic day, brings peace and harmony, a respite from the 13-day journey and its intensity. Whatever the wave spell or whatever day it is combined with, galactic energy is always sweet. Today is Red Serpent, which represents life force, survival, and instinct. We've just emerged from the Red Serpent wave spell. The lesson should be fresh in our minds. Renewal is the key point today, but with the harmonious number 8 on our side, this renewal won't be difficult or painful. Harmony creates renewal. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Galactic Serpent, 8 Chik Chan. Keen 125, the 3rd of January, 2022. Harmonizing Life Force. 3 1 2022 equal 3 1 6 equal 3 7 equal 10 equal 1. Day codes 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. 10 Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1 New Beginnings, Original, Leader. Month Year Codes 1 New Beginnings, Original, Leader. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 2. Partner, Twin, Cooperation. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen, 125 equal 8. Infinity, Abundance, Source Flow. 
manifesting new beginnings they ate in the white mirror wave spell of reflection truth illusion endlessness and magnification today we are focused on the mind and the integrating instinct white mirror reflects the truth through direct honesty which we are processing through allowing this flow in the raw instinctual mind of red serpent cheek chan reveals where cleansing is needed to ensure your enhanced survival through your total empowerment of your divine life force tone of creation galactic tone eight in the mental realm action modeling power harmonize essence integrity the galactic tone will influence much mental analysis today the most important factor is that we model integrity in our thoughts words and actions are our intentions based on harmony through integrity of being we need to master the primal fears revealed by chik chan and raise them higher with total integrity our plans need to be transparent and for the highest good of our community and planet for them to hold up in these new energies our projects and business models will then serve as a model for others following in our footsteps who hold the ideals of unity peace and harmony as a priority at tone eight we have entered a new scale and we are so proud we just have to model ourselves for others we have also mastered harmony at this stage we are galactic and don't we know it the themes of modeling integrity with the power to bring harmony is the prime objective of a divine leader kings and queens holding the authority of the divine to lead their people have a great responsibility to model authenticity kindness compassion fairness and equality in the way they treat their subjects and rule their kingdom being titled begets a divine purpose greater than their own personal desires the galactic chik chan beckons the way showers and new earth leaders to step up and rule with great dignity and purpose as the role models for new earth today's question is what instinctual fears and patterns can i harmonize to purify my mind becoming a model for greater truth divine blessings for the attainment of pure divine harmony and sovereignty today in la ketch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen 66 keen 125 red galactic serpent the mantra the code for today is i harmonize in order to survive modeling instinct i seal the store of life force with the galactic tone of integrity i am guided by the power of universal water and on this powerful day of transformations activations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're experiencing what you're feeling your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations that we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to vote for us to continue bringing these transmissions to the world and take part of our special trainings and teachings and spiritual practices, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Mary Stubler for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light E.J., Schottborg for your donation today thank you very much we appreciate you for your support and also thank you fiona mannix for your purchase today on our website thank you very much and thank you all for your support thank you for those that continue to support us in our work and mission if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation you could do so to our paypal link at eaglelovecondor.com now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Pleiadian Brothors and Sistars of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, January 3rd, 2021. P1 Calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. 
Tension for calls in PVSE-SDE. New limits are set. Founders introduce themselves and release projections. MID contentions continue. Ashtarans intensify presence. Ashtaric exhibitions in progress. Attention Solaris and Solaris. New synchronized solar waves sent to Terran plane. Support and immediate assimilation. 80% of 72H. Solar projection Kundalini function. 100% of 72H. Solar plexus reverberation. Success. Wait for the next move. Quantic flowering is achieved. Solar expansions in progress. Neva plus R plus plus plus. Thirteenth Akashic projector aimed to evaluate support. 29% non-regressive. Next, 14. Forecast of 19. Authorized, Jeban Kao. Attention, Neva. Certifying code reverberation. 76% non-regressive. Initial cleaning. 2B recorks in progress. 76% non-regressive. Final cauterization. 2B recorks in progress. 69% non-regressive. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1. Supporting anchoring on island of purification. From DisclosureNews.it Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. 5111 coming in, 37 into 73, heaven on earth. And each day now we continue connecting with our galactic federations, our star nations, and our star families. And again, connect through your heart center. You can use the assistance of your favorite, most powerful crystals and hold them to your heart. Hold them to your lower Dantian, middle Dantian. And call out to your star tribes, your star nations. Please come, please come, please come. 444 coming in, 1017. And connect deeply with the nations that most resonate with your heart. The Lyrans, the Pleiadians, the Venusians, Andromedans, Arcturians. Ask them to take them to their ship or take you to your ship. They can now take you to the healing chambers, to the med beds, in the etheric, in the higher realms, and soon they will make contact with you in the physical. You can invite them to your land, to your property, or you can go out to sacred land, to sacred portals, and call them down into the field to make first contact. And each day, this grows more powerful, this connection, these transmissions, these sacred contacts. Prime Disclosure is here now. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, and be sure to make this the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.